Hello, it's Michelle Grigsby, and would you like to know how to add your own personalized watermark or logo to an image that's already created? Well, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So let's assume that you have an image that's yours or you want to put your watermark on it. And like I said, it's already created. I like to use this app called PixArt and it's right here right there and so it's an app that I downloaded onto my phone I'm going to tap on it now and what I'm going to do is uh, for sake of this tutorial I'm going to tap on edit there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with this um, but uh, what it does by default is it shows the most recent images that I've created and what I want to do is I'm actually going to add my watermark to this image right here um, and so what I'm going to do is I tapped on that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap edit up here. So I'm going to tap on edit. All right. So here's the image. Now what I'm here's the image that I want to edit. This is what I want to add my watermark to. And in a previous tutorial, I showed you how to create the, um, the watermark or the logo. I actually showed you both. I showed you how to create an actual logo with an image. And I also actually had, a sh I showed you how to create just your signature. And I just used my first and last name. You could use your website, um, whatever you want to do. And that is on a previous tutorial. So I'll put a link on my blog post to that if you need to know how to create the logo, which is pretty cool. And that was another free app that I used on my phone. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to click right here where it says add photo because it's a photo. So I'm going to tap on that. And um, what I can do is I can actually look it up by, just for sake of this, um, I'm going to go by albums. Okay, so I'm going to go by albums. It's going to pull up everything by albums and I'm going to go to my logo album. So I'm going to tap on that. And the reason why it's black in the background is because it's transparent so that when I add this, it's not going to pull up the white background. Okay, so I'm going to tap on my crown and then I'm going to tap add right up here. So if you look down here, it shows that I selected that image. Now I'm going to tap add. And as you can see, it pulled it. There it is, you guys. Oh, I love that. So now what I can do. I can make it bigger, right? And then what I can do is I can make it a little bit transparent. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna move this down here. So if you look at the logo, see how it gets more transparent. All right, and here's something else you can do. Right here, I can make it sideways, right? So that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and make it straighter. Okay, and let's add that. Oh, I like that. <laughs> All right, guys, isn't that a neat looking logo? I like it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tap on the check mark. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything else to this. Boom, there it is. Now I'm gonna tap the arrow again and I'm gonna save it to gallery and I'm gonna hit okay. So I did that, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my other pick. I'm gonna hit the back button right there. So I'm gonna tap on that. Okay, so now it's basically starting me over. So I'm gonna tap edit again. And this time I'm going to add just your name as a photo. Now you can also add text to this and create your own watermark that way, but I like to have the same consistent looking either watermark or logo. So I'm going to go back to gallery. I'm going to find my logo album and I can either do the white one or the black font and the black font. You can't see it because the transparency, but I'm going to tap on this box right here and it pulled it. It's down here. You just can't see it yet until I tap add, which is right there. Add. There it is. So now what's so cool about this is I can make it a little lighter like that. And then what I can do is I can make it sideways and then I could bring it over here if I don't want it to be like in your face. Okay. So make it smaller. Okay. There. And what that did is I just watermarked my image, you guys. Oh, <gasps> So I'm going to save it by hitting the check mark. There it is.
I'm going to hit the arrow at the top right, save it to my gallery, tap OK. So now I've got two images, you guys. I just created my own watermark or my logo, and that's my PixArt app. So I'm going to tap on that. Let's see what it looks like. So there it is. That's what it looks like, you guys, with it up here. There's my logo or my watermark there. And if I want to look at the other one, oh, there's that. How cool is that, you guys? Do you guys like that? I think that is so cool. All right, so if you guys got value from this, please leave me a comment, like this, and also share this if you want somebody else to learn how to do this. And of course, if you're watching this on my blog, there should be an important link for you to click at the bottom that can teach you more about the attraction marketing system that I'm using to brand myself and build my business online. So if you have any questions, so don't hesitate to reach out to me and I will chat with you later. Thanks guys, see ya.